How's it going everyone? John here and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the audio input capture in Streamlabs OBS. Now, if you're new to the channel, new to the series, be sure to go ahead and take a look around the channel. If you're enjoying the content, be sure to go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to click on the bell icon as well. So to be able to use your audio input capture, it's very self-explanatory on exactly what it does. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our scene and you're going to click on the plus to create your scene. What you're going to do then is you're going to go over to the plus for sources and you're going to go over to the audio input capture. So for this it says that any device that attaches to a computer for the purpose of capturing sounds such as music or speech, you know you have built-in microphones, USB microphones, and other USB devices. Now I don't have a lot of different devices that I can show you how to do this with, but there are some other devices out there that you can use with this and if you guys have any questions about those other devices let me know inside the comment section below and I'll be happy to help you guys out with that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on here and you're going to give it a name or you can leave it as it is and right here as you guys can now see my microphone is being picked up. So what I have here for my options is I have my microphone which is this one right here and then I also have my voice mod over here. So I'm going to select this one right here. This is my main microphone that I'm using right now to actually record this video with. And I'm using this in Audacity. So now that I have this selected, it's picking this up right here. And it's now able to capture my voice. So if you had other devices that also captures like music and everything, you'd be able to also control that in here too. So for those who do like music streams, whether it's with an instrument or maybe they're using like a mixer and stuff like that to do some like DJ type streams, this would be something that they would use as well. But like I said, this is very self-explanatory, very easy to set up. There's not too much that goes into it because I mean in your properties, you just have this. There may be other properties depending on if you add something else in there, but unfortunately I don't have any other devices to really kind of mess with that to tell you. But like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and let me know in the comment section. And if you guys enjoyed today's video or if you're enjoying the content on the channel, be sure to go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in a future video or on a future live stream. Take care.